Long gone are the days of Hungary competing in a World Cup final and sitting on top of the ELO rankings. The mighty Magyars used to be the best team in the world. It's intriguing to think that Germany's 3-2 win over them in the 1954 World Cup final was one of the world's all-time great upsets. Times have changed though. If Germany were to beat Hungary 3-2 nowadays, it would still be considered an upset. But because the scoreline was so narrow, because Germany only won with a one goal margin and the fact that Hungary scored two goals, that would be the sensational thing about that scoreline, not that Germany won. Metaphorically speaking, the history of Hungary's national team is best described as two humps on a camel. Their initial rise during the 1930s, followed by a decline in the 1940s. However, considering it a decline is a little unfair since it was due to the breakout of World War II, which made every national team decline. Nonetheless, they experienced a meteoric rise during the 1950s. Hungary soared through the group stage of the 1954 World Cup, defeating South Korea 9-0 and West Germany 8-3. Incredible. They maintained this consistency in the knockout stage, winning 4-2 against Brazil and Uruguay in the quarterfinals and semifinals respectively. Excluding West Germany's 8-3 loss against Hungary, their tournament was solid, 4-1 against Turkey and then 7-2 in their tiebreaker. West Germany faced slightly worse teams in their knockout stage fixtures, but their performance was superb nonetheless, 2-0 against Yugoslavia in the quarterfinal and 6-1 against Austria in the semis. At first, it seemed the final would be a routine win for the highly favored Hungarians, as they led 2-0 after only 8 minutes, with goals from Ferenc Puskas and Sultan Ksibor. It looked like it could be a repeat of their group stage demolition of the Germans. However, West Germany persisted and Max Morlock reduced Hungary's lead with a goal in the 10th minute. 2-1 Hungary after only 10 minutes. Helmut Rahn later equalized with a header in the 18th minute. The 2-2 scoreline remained until half-time and for the majority of the second half too. With 6 minutes left, Schaefer dispossessed Boschik and played a high cross into the penalty box. Run picked up Lanta's short clearance, feinted a pass to center forward Otmar Walter that wrong-footed the Hungarian defenders, moved into the penalty area and drove the ball hard and low past Groschix for the third German goal. Puschka's goal three minutes later was ruled off for offside. In what came to be known as the miracle of Bern, West Germany defeated Hungary 3-2. Hungary failed to even come close to this success at the 1958 World Cup, a tournament where they were eliminated in the group stage after drawing 1-1 with Wales and losing 2-1 to Sweden. Now we have highlighted the rise and fall of Hungary, but not the rise and fall and rise and fall. Hungary's results improved slightly at the 1962 World Cup, where they managed to reach the quarterfinals, only to succumb to a Czechoslovak goal. Their first truly impressive performance since their 1954 final appearance was the final of the 1964 European Championship, hosted by Spain. Although it was a four-team tournament, that didn't take away from the prestige of participating in it. Keep in mind Hungary defeated Wales, East Germany and France to qualify. Incredible as it may seem, Hungary's first match of the tournament was a semi-final against Spain. It was an end-to-end -end game that was ultimately decided by a goal in the 112th minute by Spain's Amancio Amaro. Hungarian hearts were broken, but their third place playoff fixture against Denmark redeemed them. 3-1 Hungary, also after extra time. Hungary went on to reach the quarterfinals of the 1966 World Cup as well, and finished fourth at UEFA Euro 1972. But since then, they have done nothing noteworthy on an international level. They haven't played in a World Cup since 1986 and broke a 44-year European Championship drought after qualifying for this 2016 edition. This proves how low Hungary's national team has fallen, from being huge favorites in a World Cup final to being underdogs at the Euros.